Hi, this is Michelle, and I will be showing you how to do, how to change, um, the lip color in using GIMP. Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to pick our picture first, and since I already picked my picture, and it's Angelina Jolie, again, um, I'm going to go to the Zoom tool, and we want it to be on Zoom In. Once we do that, we're going to zoom in her mouth. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. What we're gonna do is, we're going to use a paths tool, which is this little thing right here. We want it to be on design, so we can outline the mouth with it. We're gonna left click on it, just outside the mouth, and we're gonna go to the whole mouth. And we want it to be like this. The reason why we're doing this is so we don't mess up on on it when we're coloring it in with the color. The lines will provide us with the barrier and that way if we mess up, well there's no way of messing up really. Okay, um, we're going to edit it a little bit so it can look a little natural-ish and so it doesn't appear too boxy. and. So we get that. So we get the whole lip in, and not just parts of it. And we're gonna go like this. Okay. Once we're done with that, we're gonna go over here to our toolbox, and we're gonna click Selection from Path. Once we do that, the marching ants should appear, which it's not doing it. Sorry about that. Okay. There we go. Now, we will be going over here to our layers box, and we're going to click on the layer, sorry, and you guys can't see that, so I'm going to put this down a little bit, but what I'm doing is I'm going to right click on it, and I am going to go to new layer. Once we do that, this box will appear. I'm just going to move over, I'm going to move this over here. Once we get that, we're going to name it lip color. And we're going to press OK. But before we press OK, we're going to make sure that's on transparency. We're going to click OK. In this case, the new layer will appear right here. We want it to be on normal. As I have said before, we want the mode to be on normal in order to be able to color. Um, now we're going to go to the paintbrush and we're going to pick our color. In order to change the color, or the reason why we're going to change the color is because we don't want it to be plain color like this well like how it was before so we're gonna use a pink color and we're gonna want it we're gonna use this circle brush it doesn't matter which circle brush if it's 11 or 10 it just as long as it's a circle brush um, and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so we can finish it rather quickly now we're just gonna color it in you know I'm gonna make the thing a bit bigger Okay, and we have this result. And now we're going to go over here. And this little mouth figure appears on the, on the layer tab. And now we're going to click Overlay. Once we do this, it will turn like this. We want it to be as realistic as it can get. So we're going to change the opacity to about... Twenty-eight, if not thirty. Okay. Once we do that, we're gonna put this over here, and I'm going to zoom it out. And that is how it is now. Um, this is how it used to be before, and this is how I have made it. Um, this is just a basic or a method of changing the mouth color but there's many others um that is it thank you for watching please request um comment rate favorite subscribe and please if you have a response if you've
if this has helped you, please make a video response with your um, results. Thank you for watching, and that is it.